Further remarks? Gentleman from the third second is Representative Barkas. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I just rise again, I just want some clarification. So it's important to remember what we're talking about here. It's not three days that you're being evicted in three days. As a good gentleman just spoke, this is the start of the process. So we have to remember what the process is. The tenant is there in the house, for whatever reason, does not pay the rent. If a landlord then approaches and tries to work something out with the tenant, make some arrangements, whatever it might be, that could be a week, could be longer, could be instantaneous. It could be a big company that has an apartment complex and they have a process and boom, rent's due on the first, late by the fifth. If they're not paid on the fifth, then they get a three-day pay or vacate. That starts the process, Mr. Speaker. So when we talk about the underlying bill, the striker is presented now with 14 days, you've got to think about when this process is going to start. Again, the tenant, rent due, not paid, it's maybe a little bit of time before the process to start. Then you serve the notice. Now 14 more days is added before you can proceed with the rest of the eviction process. And when you'll see, and you're gonna hear more about this, all the additional time and options and stays and everything else that's added into this bill, you're gonna see the tremendous burden that's being placed upon the landlords in time, Mr. Speaker. So all I'm asking for with this particular amendment is that we start that process a little sooner. That, that seven days gives them seven days to cure, seven days to, to get additional services, to talk to uh, those, to find those different resources that are out there, find that hundred bucks to keep them in their place or whatever it might be. Seven days helps shorten the process just a little bit Mr. Speaker, which gives it a little bit, it reduces some of that hardship for the landlord and also helps the tenant by giving them more time to cure. Further remarks? Seeing on the question before the House of the adoption of Amendment 571, a roll call vote has been requested. The Speaker is about to open the roll call machine. The Speaker has opened the roll call machine. Has every member voted? Does any member wish to change his or her vote? The speaker's about to lock the roll call machine. The speaker's locked the roll call machine. The clerk will take the record, please.